Hello everybody, I'm sure you didn't expect to see me again, especially in regards to the sexy knob, but yep, here I am again. <laughs> right, let's talk about why I'm here, because we'll now be looking at the software. In my first video, I went through the installation of the wiring at the rear of the Tesla, the rear wiring scenario, and I installed the knob itself in the front center console and I showed you the presets that came with the knob itself and uh, ran through it and hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, it was watched by Enhance themselves and they liked the video and they said it was a great video showing how it was installed from from my perspective anyway so that was nice to hear from them but obviously I'm back again because things haven't finished now it's to sync the actual knob itself to the app. So what we're going to do in this section is uh, connect the knob to the app and let's go through what the knob actually does in conjunction with the app and what can be changed, etc. So, right, let's go. Just going off topic slightly, I don't know if you've watched my other videos, but guess what I'm wearing? My Ray-Ban Metas, Meta Ray-Bans. How do you think they look? Do they suit me? Gives me a different look, I think. And they're a great pair of Ray-Ban transition glasses. I've been out with, in the sun in them and they're great, dark enough. So as I said earlier, although this isn't the video for it, get the transition lenses. Don't get the dark lenses because you can only use it when it's sunny. And when you're inside your house, unless you're the type of person that likes walking around in a house or darkened place anyway with a dark pair of sunglasses it's not cool to me so transitions they go clear inside the house or inside a room wherever in the car and then when you're outside and it's nice and sunny you've got a nice pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses Woo. have you noticed I haven't mentioned what these glasses actually do those who know what these are, you know what I'm talking about. I haven't mentioned what the party trick of them are, but if you know what they are, you know what they are. And if you don't know, find out, but they're great. Right, now let's get back on track. This is the sexy nom. In my previous video, we went through the install and some features. Let's get the knob connected to the app right let's get the app opened up anyway the app's now open command is connected as you can see but just below here it says knob which means that needs to be connected so let's press on that and it says connect a new knob it's searching for the knob Right, it's found it and it says connected. So now we've got the knob connected. So there's two parts to this, connecting the commander to the app and connecting the knob to the app. So that's done now. And if you can see what's going on, because I didn't put the brightness up, let's get the brightness up a bit. Right, so the brightness is up. As what I do with everything now, check for a firmware update. Let's see if there's a firmware update to the knob as we did with the commander, which there was one. So let's press on that settings wheel that shows a red dot that says, yep, firmware update. Oh my days, suspected spam. Anyway, they've gone. <laughs> right, okay, let's press on this. And yep, there's quite a lot of stuff here, as you can see. So let's get that updated, press the update button. In order to update this version of the knob, you will have to power off the commander first. If you have connected it to the car already, follow one of the options below. Disconnect commander from its wire, update the knob, plug commander back in, ready to use. Wow, that's what you've got to do. Or option two, unplug the knob from the USB 
USB-C port, bring it home with you or far from the car, power it on with any USB-C charger, update it, bring it back to the car and then it's ready to use. So basically the gist of this is if you want to update the knob you need to disconnect the commander. You don't want the commander nowhere near the knob or connected in any way. Good to know. Let's go. Right. Obviously, my option will be option one because I'm already sitting in the car. So I've plugged the commander out. And as you can see on the knob itself, it says commander not connected. So we're ready to go. Let's press the update button. Press the update. It says prepare for update. Let's see what happens here. Updating six, seven, eight, nine. As you can see, it's updating. So I'll see you guys later. Right, it's updating now. The sexy knob is just going through its reset and I hopefully feel this will be it and we'll get the knob updated. It says updating on the app, but the commander has just gone through a boot process and it is finished. Success, two out of two. Press the done button. Great, so what I'm going to do now, obviously, is reconnect the commander. I'll be back with you guys soon. Right, okay, everyone. Commander's reconnected, as you can tell. We don't have commander disconnected anymore. Now let's get back and look at the app. Now we have both parts of the sexy knob updated, which is the commander and the knob. Both firmwares are on the current firmware. Right, now that we've connect, connected the knob and the commander, let's see what uh, it can do. What's this sign here? Ah, let's have a look here. There's another firmware update to the commander. Okay, I've just seen that. Right, guys, we're going to have to update the commander first. Let's go. 4.2.6 these are the improvements that they've made from the last time they've got a second update in succession so okay guys let's get this updated press update downloading prepare for update updating one percent two percent three percent okay guys as usual i won't bore you i'll see you later Right guys, success, woo, success part two, two updates, two successes for the commander, great, now let's press that done button, right, that's done, let's see what this baby can do as far as the app's concerned, so now we've got the commander connected and the knob connected, so let's see what it can do, let's go to the knob, as you can see, this is the page or the menu corresponding with the sexy knob. And it's got all the same buttons. And then if you want to go to the next page or menu, you just slide along. Exactly the same as the knob. So that's the third one. Let's get back to the first. So that's the first, second, third. Those are the three pages and everything that you can see corresponds to what it says on the knob so that's it right so if you want to change something let's go back to the first menu first page and all right let's get rid of or have a look what we can change as far as that left seat heating is concerned i'm not really too bothered about that one let's press on the left seat heating that comes up that shows you another menu and it says what it's actually operating, the left seat. Activate front left seat heater. 
So that's what this knob is doing here in, in regards to the obviously picture there. Let's delete that, get rid of that. Right, so that's that. So that's gone. And as you can see on the knob itself, it's disappeared also, blank space. So let's put something on there. Single press action. Here you will see all functions triggered by a single press of the sexy knob button. So that's what that does. So let's press that. And these are all the things you can do. So if I wanted to put something in there, I can press and see if there's any sub menus of actions that I can do. So as far as open is concerned, the only thing I can do is the glove box which I've seen already, drive, I could put a drive function there, acceleration, regen, braking, gear shift, I've seen all of those already, media, volume, I've seen that on the menu somewhere already, wipers, you can just do the wipers, press once for a single wipe without any washer fluid, right, autopilot, autopilot, that's it, charging, battery condition, I can do that in there. Climate, you can operate the temperature, fan speed, rear fan, left seat, right seat. So that comes under the climate control. I've seen all of those on one of these menus somewhere. So what else? Mirrors, obviously the fold in and out. I've seen that, which is this one here. So I've got that on there already and others what's others thank you you've got thank you where you can flash the hazard lights once one time only handy function for obviously a quick thank you to someone who's done something nice on the road for you and interior lights which i've seen are the dome lights so interior lights are the dome lights i've got that on there already so as you can see, there's the dome lights there. I've got that. All the functions that I've seen so far on here, I've got them on here already as part of the presets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that back for now. Let's see. What, no, what I'll do, I'll show you what you can do. Supposing there was a function that you liked and you thought, oh, I want it on the front page. So what you could do, you could move it. Well, I've got two. I've got that one there. I've got the wing mirrors here. And I've got the wing mirrors there. So I don't know why I've got two of them. But anyway, supposing I wanted something more important than, um, than whatever on the first page. that I could say I want it. I've already got the fan speed. I've already got what you do with the temperature. The rear fan, I haven't got that there, yeah? I could press that, save the action. Now I've got the rear fan operated from the first page. And the rear fan, I think, was on a different page. Uh, yeah, nope, I haven't got the rear fan anywhere. So, okay, yeah, I've put the rear fan there. So that's it, I've got my fan speed. I've got the rear fan, yeah, which means... I can turn the rear fan on and off and maybe um, turn it up or down. I can't do it now because I've plugged out the rear entertainment plugs which control the rear fan. <laughs> so I can't show you that one. But yeah, you can most probably do that on and obviously turn it up and down. So I've got that there. And obviously you press the middle to uh, do the cabin temperature once I've switched it on and uh, I wonder if they've changed it that now the knobs connected that no nope, when you turn it it still doesn't show on this screen it says five there and I'm turning the speed and it's showing max so yeah although I've connected the sexy knob now to the app it still doesn't do anything it still stays the same which I presumed anyway it's only the app the hardware's already been done if it didn't do it then it's not going to do it just because the app's been connected to the phone uh, so yeah that's it really so basically from what I can see there are not too many extra commands that you could do different than what's already there but what you can do with the app is put them in your 
own uh, favorite places so you know if you wanted um, like the, the volume at the front page you'd put it there or group them better you know you know group them in the way that you feel more comfortable I'm sure Enhanced grouped it in a way that they felt it was good for most people so most pages would have this page would be more for climate control as you can see the only thing that I wouldn't class as climate would be obviously the wing mirrors so but there's the seat so right I could put the seat heating here so what I would do here is press that wing mirror and delete that and I go for climate again climate control and I would put the left seating here and then press save action so I'd have left and right heating although it doesn't look too good like that does it so what I would do is maybe put it back over here delete the rear rear uh, fan and I would put the left seating there so that's more symmetrical left is left right is right and then I'd go back to that top one and put the um, go to climb it and then I would put the uh, rear fan again move it to a more so now I've got the rear fan controls the fan controls for the front right seat heating left seat heating and obviously Pritchard so that's my climate control um, menu everything to do with climate control is on there so that's great then you could go to your next menu and this would be more of your car stuff um, you've got your precondition here you've got your regen you've got your chill that's acceleration and open glove box and autopilot so basically you can just change where you want things this now is my window wipers wing mirrors they too make sense then you've got your media volume there and your dome lights would I want it like that I don't know I don't think so I might change that around somehow but yeah, I hope you get the idea of what it actually does. But Enhance have assured me uh, through their comments uh, to my other, in, in my other video that they've got lots of future um, things coming up for the Sexy Knob. So watch this space. And uh, yeah, but as far as I can see now, it's kind of standard stuff that's already on here. It's just via the app you can rearrange how you would like it you know you have your own menu set to your own specific likes and groupings that's just a quick run through the sexy knob connection with the app and firmware update and uh, yeah it's a great bit of kit I've used it I've driven and it's really good you can access functions so quickly without going on your screen and sort of fumbling around trying to find th things um, it's just on the knob and um, with enhanced upgrading a lot of things or coming up with new future updates uh, it should be a great prospect for this uh, uh, sexy knob thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time bye